Welcome to r slash reddit revenge. This is a story of someone getting back at someone with revenge after being wronged. Thank you friends for subscribing to the channel and for so many likes. The first story. I had a tragedy and my boss fired me. I'm suing him. The second story. I quit my job and my boss ran to my house and begged me to come back because he didn't expect me to ruin his business. The first story. My boss decided to fire me after my tragedy. I lost a baby when I was 9 months pregnant. I returned to work 2 weeks after my tragedy part time by agreement with my bosses. I had 2 bosses, the co-owners of the small business. I planned to go back to full time in November. We had a meeting where we discussed this and they approved the plan. 3 weeks before I had a positive review and a raise, I've always had positive reviews. Then 3 weeks after one of my bosses started yelling at me about random things he had never cared about before. 1. My desk was too messy. 2. I voided a check and didn't shred it right away. 3. A letter I had written with no particular deadline had not gone out yet. 4. He didn't like the way I talked to a customer on the phone. It was very strange. I asked him why he was suddenly so hostile to me and he denied it. I asked my other boss who said he would talk with them. Hostile boss then started taking work away from me and giving it to my coworker, saying I was too emotionally fragile to handle it. Then, my grandmother died. While I was at the funeral, my bosses went through my entire inbox and outbox. When I got back, they presented me with a list of things they found in my boxes that they thought were done wrong, and they fired me for those things. They made a big show of how they found all this deing evidence. About 80% of their list is not an actual mistake or wrong thing. 19% is debatable. There are two actual mistakes they found. Weirdly, they also complained about how they can't afford my health insurance. I'm emotionally unstable and I will probably be gone again for another pregnancy, in between telling me that my firing was unrelated with my baby and was in fact due to all these horrible mistakes they had found. This was seven weeks after I lost my baby. I was flabbergasted. After screaming and crying a lot, I called an employment lawyer. It seems I could sue, arguing the firing was based on my gender and pregnancy. I got a second opinion who said my employment lawyer is well respected and she agrees with this assessment. I am totally emotionally overwhelmed. I am still grieving my tragedy and now I'm dealing with this. I just don't know what to do, so I want revenge. I want them to burn in hell. I want to just forget they exist. I know you're probably thinking why are you asking us? You got legal advice, listen to your lawyer. But I could do with all the opinions I can get. Legal and personal advice is much appreciated. Update. I decided to do it. I signed the contingency fee agreement with the first lawyer I consulted today. One of the law partners came in and shook my hand and asked if she could give me a hug. She told me the nice thing about people who only care about money is that you can legally get them where it hurts. Thank you to every one of you for your advice, kind words and encouragement. I'm trying to think though, why they would fire you now? I mean, do you think they were looking to fire you anyway? OP, it's a very small business and I think they were freaked out that I wouldn't be pulling my weight and they would actually be losing money on me with the cost of my health insurance and that I would get pregnant again. Some of this they actually hinted at in the meeting where they fired me, as they mentioned the cost of my health insurance and the fact that I would probably want more children. They also weirdly mentioned that they had talked to an employment lawyer about whether they could fire me. Edit. Another theory I have is that the one boss was just freaked the F out, my tragedy and turned that into hostility towards me. At any rate, it's all very confusing and devastating. Update from September 1st, 2017. After completing depositions and discovery, we were able to settle. It was an extremely difficult process. A little advice, treat your work email like it's public record because it is. Even though it was hard, I'm really happy I went through with it. I'm happy with the settlement and happy I got to make their lives difficult for a year. I'm using part of my settlement to buy my daughter a small memorial in a public park. Also, one of my old boss's wife divorced him during all of this, and I heard from my old coworker that it was mostly because she could not believe he could be so heartless. The second story is, Delivery place with no delivery drivers left now. I've spent the last three years delivering pizza for one of the mega chain companies, and I'm finally effing done. Minimum wage, of course, and a flat rate delivery fee paid to the driver of $150. They charge you $4 for delivery, and we get $150 of it. Most day, there's nothing but a single driver and a manager trying to run a place doing 30 plus pizzas per hour, from 11 a.m. to midnight. Closing and cleanup takes until a minimum of 2 a.m., and I've had days where I came home past 4 a.m. Customers screaming, ranting, canceling orders all day long. Orders flooding in non-stop all day and night. It's like living in a constant panic attack. Always stressed, always a dozen things that still need doing. 
and a dozen other things that nobody did. At the beginning of COVID, this store had about 16 drivers on staff, barely adequately covered with those, but doable. Gradually lost about two per month to where we are now. Gigantic delivery area that they refused to contract at all that can't be covered by anything less than six drivers. Double that when busy, which we are nonstop. We've had two drivers all summer, which is totally insane considering we're open seven days, 13 hours per day until a month ago. Now they have none. I've been working an average of 70 hours per week, some weeks over 90, averaging over 700 miles per week on my car. Tips have gone to SH. Easily half of people don't even tip at all anymore. In the beginning of COVID, a 70 hour week was easily over $1,000 in my pocket. Since the beginning of this year, it's gradually dropped to maybe $500 max. And I'm just totally exhausted and stressed the F out nonstop. They won't raise the wage. Franchise owners swear people are just lazy and frequently intimates that all his current employees are just lazy whiners. So last night, 20 deliveries on the board and I'm the only driver. Make line is backed up at least 45 minutes. Walk-in customers mostly walking out when they come in to order and see what's going on. He's working the counter for his once per month shift where he mostly just screams and gets in the way, lying to customers telling them it'll be 15 minutes for their order when we're at a minimum of an hour and he decides I'm not moving fast enough. In front of a dozen customers, all standing in the front, peeved, waiting for their extremely late food. Owner, you need to GD run with those deliveries. People are hungry. Under his breath, lazy F, you'll be fired if you don't do what I tell you. Had it, done, no more, enough. Dropped all the food I was carrying in the middle of the floor. Went out back, cashed myself out, took my lock off my locker, emptied my stuff. Went out front, brought in the stupid company car topper and tossed it into the pile of food on the floor and just left. No idea what he was screaming while it happened. Don't care. So finally and totally done with his and every other boss out there who acts like this and runs a business like this. It's not a business when they think this is how to run things. It's some kind of ego stroking half aid hobby and I ain't here for it anymore. On the plus side, I slept 12 hours last night for the first time in forever and feel amazing as hell today. It's like a huge lump of stress, rage, hatred, and panic has just evaporated inside. Highly recommended to all. Effing quit. Walk on the B, walk out, move on, quit. Do it. They deserve it. Update edits in the original post. The day after update. The owner just texted wanting to know if I was coming in tonight. Friday night. Dude, it's Friday and you're late already. You coming? I got no drivers here and already over 20 deliveries sitting here. WTF? Just ignore or be a D. Trying to decide. I definitely am never going back. Update to the update to the day after. I'll wait and post the text if they actually get good, but so far they're almost all just repeats of you coming in or not until the last one, below. It's not as good as one would hope for, until that is. The latest text, up to eight now. I'm gonna effing sue you for ruining my business and job abandonment. Don't know how that works, but I'm just high enough now to have responded. Hope your lawyer is cheap, because I worked for you cheap B, so you know I'm effing broke. Free advice, don't sue poor people. We ain't got SH. Now apparently I'm fired. Woe is me. So I'm fired even though I quit. Don't care, but definitely filing for UI since he was dumb enough to fire me via text after walking out. Can't wait for his freak out when they send through the paperwork for that. However, so I drove by this morning, thinking I'll be decent and return my uniform shirts and whatnot. Try to act like an adult or whatever. And he is closed today. Sign on the door, handwritten that simply says, Closed today due to lack of staff. Texted around to my former co-workers, and apparently his rage fits all night Friday and all day and night Saturday cost him two of his insiders and shift runners. There were only four left as it was, and the other daytime driver told him to go F himself and walked out as well midday Saturday. Dude is self-destructing, I guess, and doesn't seem to care if he torpedoes his business. Now he has absolutely no drivers and only his store GM and an insider, a 17-year-old who only works 10 hours a week after school left. Oh well, left my uniform shirts in the dumpster around the corner. So my former employer is on my front lawn now screaming his head off. Update. And how's your Thursday night going, Reddit? This is gonna be long. The TLDR is he nearly gets himself arrested because he won't accept that I quit. So, knock on my door today and I answer it to my former boss. Not happy about that, as I seriously dislike people just showing up at my house uninvited. Okay, what the F. So, ex-boss. So now that you've had some time, are you ready to grow up and be a man and come back to work? Friday tomorrow and I need my people. Me, the F did you just say? Grow up and be a man? I quit. We're done. Go away. I don't have anything to say to you.
I start to go inside, but he launches into an unbelievable rant about being closed half this week and that's all my fault. It seems the rest of the crew followed me out, and all he has left is his general manager. He's losing money and how is he supposed to staff a store open 100 hours a week with just him and his GM, and it's my fault for quitting. He's spending so much in DoorDash fees sending out deliveries that he's gonna go broke any minute now. Just slack-jawed disbelief. I can't believe this Nimrod won't leave me alone. He's let his staff dwindle from nearly 30 employees pre-COVID down to the last half dozen or so, and we all bailed finally as well. And this is my fault? Me. I don't give an F. I'm not interested. I don't care. I don't know how else to tell you. Why are you here? I'm not going to work for you ever for any reason. Go away. Ex-boss. You're just a child and an effing coward. Get back to work. I need you there. Me. Go F yourself and get off my property. I slam the door and head inside. He's on my front porch banging on the door like a GD maniac. My dogs are losing their SH. He's screaming and ranting at the top of his lungs, threatening to sue me for job abandonment, for ruining him and bankrupting him, how it's my fault his kids are going to starve and be homeless. My neighbors are starting to hear him. It's a beautiful day out and everybody has their windows open, so it's kind of hard not to hear him. Finally, I've had enough listening to this. The poor nice old guy across the street is standing on his lawn with his next door neighbor, and they're trying to figure out what the hell's going on over here. He starts to leave at least finally. Because I'm a petty child as he walks away ranting, I pop the door open real quick and stick my head out and yell, your pizza sucks and you suck if you think one driver can save your SH business. Hope you go bankrupt so I can laugh at you panhandling on the street corner in a month, you cheap a-hole. That maybe wasn't the best idea. I slammed the door shut real quick. He ran back up, pounded on the door and started screaming some more. Probably another good 20 minutes of his noise and BS. My neighbor actually went back inside and called me. I love Bill. He's a great guy. I told him what's happening and he just laughs his A off. Asked if he should maybe call the police over the domestic disturbance going on at my house. I won't say I told him to do it, but I certainly didn't tell him not to. So my former boss is standing on my front lawn right now. Blue lights from three police cruisers are flashing among the house as the sun sets on a lovely New England day. I'm sure he won't get arrested, although I'd love to see it. But oh my, he certainly seems all agitated. The poor cops look bored, frankly. They only talked to me for a few minutes, and I told them he's just an ex-boss that won't accept that I effing quit. They didn't seem all that amused. Oh well, not my problem. Call one of my former co-workers, one of the others who's quit in the week, since I've been gone, and it seems that ex-boss was just at his house, and was yelling at him also. Effing hell, what a D. I'm just sitting on my deck around the side of the house, watching my ex-boss as he sheepishly tries to explain harassing an ex-employee at his home to the police. Peaceful, stress-free, and well-rested after quitting his SH job. Maybe I should wave at him? Update. So as a post below suggested, I've actually just texted a few other co-workers who have also recently quit. So far, two others have responded saying this guy showed up at their house. One just told him to F off, slammed the door in his face and ignored him, and the other wasn't home. But his mother answered and tried giving her SH over her kid quitting. Haven't yet heard back from anybody else, but yeah, looks like I'll be hurting a few of us together to an attorney. They all down for it. This is effed up. Dude can't be bothered to hire anybody for months. Works his staff to death, demeans them until they walk out and then goes into their house to be even more of an egg. Yeah, this is getting fun now for a petty P, with too much time on his hands. A keen sense of F with me and find out and a definite plan to call more than a few attorneys in the AM. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good day.